What's up guys and welcome back to Wednesday's vlog. I'm sorry I look a little crazy today. I don't really care. This is a real, this is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. Anyways, today I'm going to do a bedroom tour. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting to see this and I don't know why because my bedroom is not very exciting. But before I do a bedroom tour, we're gonna do a house tour. We're back. We're looking at a new house today and I'm gonna give you a tour really quick. This is front door, you walk in, little living area, dining Office room. Area. This is the master bathroom. Family room, kitchen. There's a hallway with bathroom on this end and a bathroom on that end. Bedroom one, two, and three. Favorite part is this little upstairs bonus room. And outside is a little pool area. This one doesn't have as quite as a big open backyard, but there is like a little retention pond or something back there. Let me know which house you guys like better. What'd you think? I love it. I liked it. I think the flooring needs to be updated in some of the bathrooms, but. Well, your pops can replace that. Yep, my dad leaves flooring. So, I'm back at home, and welcome to my crib. This is where I spend most of my time, is in this bed, sleeping. So where to start? If you watch my 50 facts about me video, this is my piggy bank. This is where I keep my jewelry, my everyday wear jewelry. And I have these two shelves up here. This is like my favorite part about my room. Me and Mitchell there. This is something that Jackson made me for my birthday this year. It's my friends. It's Kaylee, that's Cassie. She's coming home, I'm so excited. I can't wait to introduce you guys to her. Oh, that's Cassie again, her boyfriend. This is one of my other really good friends, Clara, and her husband, me and Mitchell. Me and Mitchell up there. More of me and Mitchell, I'm obsessed with him. Clearly. My favorite wine bottle ever. Yes, it is a wine bottle. And no, I have not opened it yet. I don't know why. These are little glass shoes. My mom had these. She was going to get rid of them and I thought they were so cute. It's like, no, don't throw them away. My guitar. I don't play the guitar. I wish I could play the guitar, but I've just never taken the time to try. I mean, I, well, I tried once. It didn't work out too good. <laughs> this sits on my windowsill. They are dead roses, and they are roses from every time Mitchell has gotten me a dozen of roses. So I've kept one from each bunch. So this is my nightstand. This is next to my bed. These two people are my grandparents. They're my mom's parents. They passed away. One passed away in 2011, my grandma did, and my grandpa passed away in 2013 which leads me to this tattoo. A lot of you keep asking and want to see a video about all my tattoos. So I'm just going to tell you right now that this tattoo right here is the day my grandmother passed away. This is the coolest lamp ever. I got this at Home Goods, and watch. It's just like a light bulb and it's so cool. It's like the best. The book I haven't finished yet. I need to. My planner. Let's see what I got going on this week. Mm, nothing exciting. Oh, I'm going to Universal on Sunday, so stay tuned for next Wednesday because I'll probably post that vlog on Wednesday since I'll be at Universal on Sunday. What's in my nightstand? Dun dun dun. Top drawer, underwear. Middle drawer, socks. Bottom drawer, bras. Moving on to my dresser. Beach cover ups or swimsuits, but I also keep my laptop charger in here. It's hard because I don't have a desk right here, so I have this big space. I don't utilize it, and I don't know why. I was gonna get like a little sitting area, a couch there when I moved back home, but I just never got to it. I kind of regret it, but whatever. What else is in my dresser? This is like shorts, tank tops. This is my workout drawer. These are all my pants. They're all black. I don't know why, but like black pants. My swimsuit drawer. I said that kind of funny. My PJ drawer. My sh random shirt drawer. 
Shorts. More shorts. I don't really know what this is. Sweatpants and comfy bottoms. These are like my leggings. I keep some like little scarf things. My nipple pasties. That's my cold winter PJs that I can't even open. And there's just a lot of stuff in there. So another fun fact about my bedroom is I have lived in this bedroom for 23 years. And I say 23 years because one year I did move out. I lived downtown Orlando with my best friend and it was a lot of fun. It was just really, really expensive. So I've lived in this house my whole life, which is pretty cool. Not, not a lot of people can say that. It like, has a lot of memories to me. I literally, it's my childhood. Behind my door is where I keep my purses. But now to the part you've been waiting for. Dirty laundry. Shoe bin. My jeans are down here along with like some random skirts. So I also sectioned my clothes off. These are like my black shirts, grayish, beiges and whatnot, whites. Then I go into my tank tops. Then this is like my dresses and rompers. These are all like my sweaters. The most intriguing part about a bedroom tour is what's under the bed. Let's find out. I keep it all in a bin so it doesn't get all dusty. This is a whole bin. It's just full of random stuff. I don't really know what's in here. This is kind of creepy. <laughs> Brady thinks it's creepy too. Hey Brady. Brady, you want it? Oh, she's so scared. I'm so sorry. The story behind this is I think Mitchell won it for me at like Halloween Horror Nights or something. I don't know why I kept it. It's kind of creepy. This is my 21st birthday sign. I don't know if you guys know what this really is, but when you turn 21, one of your good friends makes you a sign of tasks to do on the back. You're supposed to do all the tasks. It's just something fun to do on your 21st birthday. I think Karen and my good friend Cassie actually made this. They did such a good job. Like, I think this is the best 21st birthday sign. 21 sacred rules. Use the men's restroom urinal. Ew. What else is in here? My old laptop. My aunt made me this for my 21st birthday. Look at all the pictures. One year, my dad dressed me up for Halloween, and this is what I looked like. Hi, I am Taylor. Wag, you like to go on a, I don't even know, with me? This, this is a giraffe. He is big and tall. This is a cheetah. It can run fast. This is an owl. He comes out at night and he makes noise. Wow, that's a great story. Oh my gosh. I don't know, something here and then it says, get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's a great story. The end, I guess. Once there was a girl like her mom called her angel forever and that day on she began to be sweet. She touched her cat that was named Shishi. That girl loved her so much that she picked her by the feet but she really is sweet. But that day on, she is really sweet. I love her so much. I so really do. The end. Wow, I'm a great writer. 
So that's pretty much that's all in this thing. The other stuff is just a bunch of weird school stuff. So that sums up my bedroom tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, I'm sorry I warned you from the beginning. I think the underneath part of my bed was pretty cool. Comment down below what you guys think of this house. Stay tuned for Sunday. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. I'll see you next Sunday. Actually, this Sunday. Bye! What's inside this Victoria's Secret box? all the notes from me and Karen and obviously other people but mainly me and Karen we were obsessed with each other now you know what's inside this Victoria's Secret box Secret.